my name is Teresa and I got started in mining from living in, I think, the mining capital of the world, Sudbury, Ontario. Mining is everywhere around us. When I was young though, I had an opportunity to work at Dynamic Earth, which used to be called Big Nickel, part of Science North. And there I was actually a tour guide for visitors from all over the world going underground. So that was my first taste of the exciting world of mining. So yes, I believe that there's a bit of work to be done in terms of making sure that mining and STEM careers make it into the forefront of people who might not traditionally have those exposures either through family ties or the geographic location of where they live. In my opinion, what would help is, you know, making sure the school curriculums, especially when kids are young, are incorporating mining in the ways that are exciting, the way we're mining today, like in ways that children and youth and other people who are older can see how, you know, maybe you're a computer programmer, how would I fit into mining? or maybe you're in occupational health, how do you help the mining industry? So I just believe that there's definitely an opportunity for the mining industry to reach out far and wide to get a diverse pool of people seeing themselves in mining because certainly it is one of the most key industries that is has been able to link so many disciplines from, from HR to chemical engineering to mining engineering. So I think just that concrete action wise, it's about getting into the school curriculum, making sure we're present in there and actually showing people how exciting our industry is and tangible ways that they can see themselves fitting in. I am personally extremely excited about where mining is going. It just, it, all you have to do is look around at different networking events to see how the landscape is changing, in my opinion. We're in an exciting time where people are starting to see how they fit in. I mean, uh, if you uh, just Google data analytics in mining, you see that that's a thing right now. So here, there we go. So people going to data science, mathematics, there's a room for you in mining. So I'm excited with just the diversity of career paths that are opening up for a multitude of people. And I'm excited by organizations that are doing great work like Mining, you know, Mining Matters. The panelists are amazing that I'm with, so I'm so excited. I've looked up to actually uh, some of them for years. So it's quite fascinating to be in that environment with them. But let's just say this is a labor of love. I'm really passionate about inclusion. I mean, I love when teams are made up of diverse people and I love when it's diversity is intentional as well. I've been uh, watching Star Trek like crazy lately. And uh, I mean, I watched it before, but now it's like, you know, I'm watching it again. And don't you just love the team? You got a Klingon, you got a, you know, Data, you've got, you know, Deanna Troy, you got this diverse pool of talent combined together to solve problems. So I'm, I'm loving this opportunity. CIM convention is so special to me because this is a chance where mining professionals get together and we can share things that can make our industry even better. So it's a great opportunity to connect with all friends, all classmates, colleagues, and just learn from one another. Because at the end of the day, as human beings, I, I believe we crave connectivity. So it's a great opportunity for us to connect, to talk about those things that matter to us and to really support each other. Support is key to living a full life and you know mining is no different i mean you you look at um our mental health or physical health it all goes hand in hand and i truly believe conventions such as cim are a good time for people to take a break and stop assess where they've been and where they're going and learn from others to take that along with them on the journey Yeah, so friends, uh, please join us at the CIM 2019 convention. And especially, I would love to see you join us at the plenary. Inclusion is now.